Hi guys, this is Mom of Three Possible. Thank you for coming back to watch. Our discussion today is going to be about waist trainers. But please let me know down below if you've had any experience at all with waist trainers and what your thoughts are on it. Was it a positive experience or was it a negative experience? Please let me know down below. And let's go right ahead with our video today. Thank you for watching. Hey, my day right will be sunny. <laughs> be tough it. Hey, hey, not there in here. Hey, where did me them into me? Oh, hey, thank God for bread. Oh, be shammy. Hey, where did you? Any year, any year, any year, any year, sir. Me and come on, sir. Hey, be tough it. Hey, hey. I'm going to go over waist training, kind of like the truths and the lies, because there are so many theories out there about waist training. Um, first off, I want to thank you all for coming back to watch me. I appreciate your comments and keeping me going, the encouragement. Um, I truly appreciate it. I'm doing this video because I have received a lot of comments, a lot of questions, people asking me about waist training, and I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on that. Um, if you remember one of my very earlier videos I did sort of an explanation of why your gut or your belly kind of changes after an injury or as you get older as you get bigger or um, after you have children why it gets bigger you can go back and watch that video um, I will put that video link right down below so you can get it and kind of watch to understand a little bit more um, so for waist training if you think back to when in our local um, Ghanaian culture, when you have a baby, your um, parents kind of um, advise you to use that attempt to kind of um, bind and hold in. That, what that does, it's actually a passive way of helping you to sort of hold your belly in and engage your core muscles. But most people um, with the attempt and also with waist trainers, people have come to believe that it is the waist trainer that does the work for them. You actually have to do the active, um, active engaging your own core while using some of these waist trainers but I'm going to talk about some of the bad ways that people use um, these waist trainers and some of the good ways you can use these waist trainers bad ways when you see people who use the waist trainers that are extremely smaller than what their waist is and they just keep binding and binding and the way they wear these trainers like 24 hours a day and what happens when people do that is they continuously shrink and pull tight what their organs right here if you think about your organs that are right here those are the, some of the very important organs your stomach your intestines your liver when people keep binding this, what it does is it rearranges these organs the longer they do it. Okay, so they're overdoing it. And these organs kind of, they shift up and it causes digestive issues. Heartburn gets worse. People have constipation um, because they're going for the looks and they're not so much thinking about the health risks of doing that. And I compare that to like the olden days kind of foot binding that was done in china you can look up that practice and it'll kind of tell you a little bit more or kind of like when people will use rings around their necks to sort of elongate their necks it did do those things but to what cost you do cause some injury or some deformity in the way, the normal way that things are supposed to be. And you have to be very careful on what you see on TV. Sometimes some of these people that do the extreme weight training, they have um, either some kind of surgery or some kind of procedure. They remove their ribs to make their waist smaller or they redistribute kind of their fat. They'll move fat from their belly, put it on their butt so their waist looks smaller or sometimes they get their butt done and so it makes their waist look smaller and they tell you all I did is waist training so you have to be kind of um, careful what you see on celebrities on TV is not always the truth here is the good way that I think about waist training when you're trying to engage your core and make your waist smaller you need a constant reminder to always hold in your belly tighter, kind of like holding your abdominal muscles together, pulling it closer to your spine, kind of like in and up closer to your spine so that you're always engaging these muscles, okay? And so if you are engaging these muscles here, and I'll show you, try to be decent. Okay, 
So, if you are engaging these muscles and you have a waist trainer on, and I'll grab um, the one that I use. I use the Squeam um, waist trainer. It's kind of, um, it had the cotton on the inside and the outside is kind of latex. Um, so that when you sweat, um, it sort of absorbs it. And what this waist trainer did for me is it was exactly the size of my waist. If you can tell, I am not pulling. It was exactly the size of my waist. So I was able to still breathe. I was able to still bend over. I was able to still um, do everything that I needed to do and not feel like I was going to pass out. Okay. And I did this for about two hours of the day. And while wearing this during that time, man, this is dirty. I haven't used it. In, in, I, I don't use it anymore. I only did it when I was trying to get into the routine of always engaging my core. And what this did for me is it reminded me to hold in my course. So I was doing it myself. It wasn't this doing it for me. And if you can tell, I can still bend, I can still breathe. I'm very comfortable. And it just helped me remind myself to bend the right way so that my belly is not bulging out. Because the more you allow your belly to bulge out, the more injury you do and the, and the bigger you stretch out the muscles. So this just reminded me to hold in my own belly muscles. So I was almost constantly working out my belly muscles but I only did it for about two hours a day okay and once I did it two hours a day and I held it in it became a habit and I didn't need the waist trainer to tell me to engage my core in the right way and so if you want to use a waist trainer and you're doing it very minimal using it as sort of like a guide and not relying on don't wait for some waist trainer to help you do what you need to do to kind of keep your shape you know if you are doing this waist training you have to combine it with healthy eating you have to combine it with taking care of yourself okay you cannot wait for a waist trainer to help you lose weight in your waistline it is not going to do that for you the only thing it's going to do for you is act as a guide for you during that very limited about two hours or so to learn how to engage your core and keep your core straight and tight at all times. You have to eat right. That is the only way you're going to lose that belly fat, okay? We all have abs. But if you have a lot of fat over it, you're not going to see it. It's not going to poke through. You have to lose that belly fat through healthy eating, portion control, and also through exercise. Do not wait for some waist trainer or some celebrity who has had their butt done or got their ribs removed to tell you that all you need is a waist trainer to help you get that fancy weight that you're looking for. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Um, please do not forget subscribe, hit like, comment. If you like this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below, your questions. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos and I will be happy to do that.